It's not only a great reset, it's a great deception. Replacing mum and dad's small businesses and private enterprises with big tech and big business. Democracy and free enterprise go out the window, totalitarian government control slides in through the back door. Those behind this scheme are adamant that there can be and never will be a return to normal. That life will never again be what it was prior to COVID. That is why they constantly talk about the new normal. The World Economic Forum meets every January in Davos. You will have heard of the expression Davos man. It refers to all the zillionaires and pop stars and popes and princes and politicians who meet every year to map out our futures. This year's Davos is very, very different to all the previous ones. The World Economic Forum, along with the United Nations, along with the International Monetary Fund, and along with any number of prominent globalist organizations and powerful individuals, including Prince Charles, together have jointly promised that the 2021 World Economic Forum will be used to introduce via a vast network of connected big tech corporations, online activist movements and compliant local and national governments, something they call the Great Reset. This isn't some uh, sky after dark fantasy conspiracy theory. It is a global commitment they have made to use the panic and fear generated by the coronavirus as a means to reshape all our economies and laws and move to a new form of capitalism that focuses on net zero emissions. You might think this is a great thing, you might think this is a terrible thing. If implemented successfully, the Great Reset will undeniably and deliberately have extreme and possibly dire repercussions for every single one of your constituents. Already, the Great Reset is being widely advertised on posters and in ads across the UK and Europe, and no doubt will be here before too long. You'll own nothing and you'll be happy is just one of their marketing slogans. The plan involves replacing shareholders of big companies with stakeholders who happen to be left-wing bureaucrats and climate change zealots. Replacing mum and dad's small businesses and private enterprises with big tech and big business. Mrs. Kafup's share portfolio is out. Greta Thunberg's zero emissions are in. Democracy and free enterprise go out the window. Totalitarian government control slides in through the back door. But remember, it's not only a great reset, it's a great deception because in order to get everyday people to surrender many of the rights and freedoms we currently take for granted, the repeatedly stated aim of these organizations is to deliberately use COVID as an excuse, to use all the political and authoritarian tools, as Prince Charles puts it, that are currently being used around the world to eradicate the virus, such as lockdowns, exclusion zones, forced closure of businesses, heavy fines, making protesting illegal, and so on. But now to eradicate carbon emissions. Those behind this scheme are adamant that there can be and never will be a return to normal. That life will never again be what it was prior to COVID. That is why they constantly talk about the new normal. This is, this is not me saying this, this is them saying it. The people with the power and the means and the obsessional desire to do it. And they keep telling us again and again precisely what they have in store. Now is a historical moment, a time, not only to fight severe virus, but to shape the system. We have a unique but rapidly shrinking window of opportunity to learn lessons and reset ourselves on a more sustainable path. It is an opportunity we have never had before and may never have again. So we must use all the levers we have at our disposal, knowing that each and every one of us has a vital role to play. The Great Reset is a welcome recognition that this human tragedy must be a wake-up call. It is imperative that we reimagine, rebuild, redesign, reinvigorate and rebalance our world. Rebalancing investment, harnessing science and technology, and advancing the transition to net zero emissions, all elements of the Great Reset, 
are fundamental to building the future we need. And if it's still not clear, the book written by World Economic Forum boss Klaus Schwab himself setting out precisely how the most powerful forces in the world are lining up to use the COVID-19 crisis as a pretext for introducing a new climate change focused one world economy that will strip away property rights and basic democratic rights. They are not hiding this stuff, they are shouting it from the rooftops. The World Economic Forum boasts on its website that the only acceptable response to the COVID crisis is to pursue a great reset of our economies, our politics and our societies.